it was a loss. It wasn't the way you wanted. You guys wanted to close uh, the regular season, but how did you assess the team's performance, especially ahead of the playoffs? Um, our biggest takeaways could be, starting with myself, um, got to make free throws. I don't know how many we missed, but to lose a game by three and then you look at free throws and see, I think we missed eight or more. Uh, myself missing four, uh, very, very tough to do, especially when I've been shooting so well. And then also uh, turnovers at the end. Um, the last possession we had, um, I did a move. I'm not 100 percent sure it's a travel, but it's a turnover nonetheless. And uh, we had too many of those down the down the stretch and throughout the game. So we can clean those up. You know, we probably come out with a win. We had a, a bit of a debate with the guys in the studio about which uh, opponent was preferable, perhaps, for Olympiacos. Was it uh, Barcelona or Monaco? Which team perhaps suited Olympiacos best? If I had to ask you the same question about Fenerbahce, what would you answer? Um, I don't know. That's nothing for us to worry about. I think any team that tells you we prefer someone, um, I think the phrase winners worry about winners and themselves and losers worry about winners. And we don't want to be a team that's like, oh, we want to play them, we want to play them. Uh, we want to focus on Fenerbahce. And like I said, there were some things we, we wanted to focus on this game. Uh, we did a little bit better, a lot better, actually, moving the ball, sharing the ball. Um, we got to the line. We didn't make shots. And then also we turned the ball over too much. So going forward, we have a week of uh, Turkish League games we need to, to wrap up and take care of in that regular season. And going forward, um, learn from this game. We've lost, we lose our last three Euroleague games. Yes, to uh, even with the previous games, yeah. yeah. Luckily for us, it's 0-0 uh, it's zero, zero now, so we got a clean slate and a fresh start. I have to ask you also, because uh, you won't begin in Istanbul, in your home court, the EuroLeague playoffs, but Fenerbahce fans can't be anywhere. They can't go any place to support uh, your team. Do you expect them to be also at Monaco? Um, yeah, I mean... We, uh, we love the support we have. We always talk about it, especially when the support in the arena is uh, is good. There's been some away games we've had where it's felt like a home game. So if we can do that um, in, in Monaco, that would be that would be huge for us. But uh, it starts with us. You know, it starts with uh, the, the, the 12 to, well, I mean, it's like 16 of us. But then when we play the game, the 12 guys that are suited and uh, dressed to play the game and then uh, the five guys on the court. So, like I said, we have to worry about in the locker room and making sure that we put our best uh, our best brand of basketball on the court. Thank you very much, Nigel. Good luck.